They made some progress on the 15th, but it snowed very heavily that night and was cold and windy. The next morning, Ben and Graham made some progress going up. But they encountered difficulty at about 22,000 feet and backed off. Between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m., I was looking from my tent and I saw them moving slowly as they began to come down. But after 1 p.m., I did not see them. The next thing I saw was my husband on the ridge of the peak, just below the summit. He was walking towards the summit, but I don't know if he made it to the top. Then I saw John on the ridge. They began to descend together. They came down to about 22,000 feet where Ben and Graham had difficulty earlier. Then I saw them fall. They slipped. Down they went, 3,000 feet, to about a height of 19,000 feet. So I put on my boots to look down the glacier to see if they were moving. But I just saw their two bodies. And then I saw the other two bodies of Ben and Graham. And I knew they had gone also. It was 4 p.m. It was too late for me to do anything. <laughs>